Keith, what do we know so far? Well, going with a lower price Model 3 with a shorter range gives Elon the opportunity to meet these very ambitious sales volume targets he has. You know, they're planning to, pr to produce 400,000 Model 3s this year. That's a lot of Model 3s, and you can't sell them all at over $50,000. So having a lower price Model 3 should bring in new customers, should be, bring in value customers. The average price of a car in the United States these days is $37,000. So this makes it a Joe Average kind of Tesla for the first time. Gene, hasn't Tesla promised that the price would eventually come down to $35,000? It just took some time to get there? Yeah, this was the original promise back two years ago, Emily. And so in some respects, this isn't news, but in other respects, it's probably the biggest news since the Model 3 itself was announced because the simple math was that most um, or there are many people felt that this car to get to $35,000 and to produce it profitably was impossible. And so um, I think that that is what is so important here. The 35000 it doesn't sound uh, like it's that significant, but Compare that to the rest of the car industry, which the few that do have EVs are typically at 70000 plus right now. And you can start to quickly see why Tesla's 80% market share that they had in the U.S. last year on electric vehicles, can, they can maintain uh, that kind of share, at least in the near term, the next one or two years. Right, Tesla, as you mentioned, already way ahead in the electric car market. It's going to be hard for, for other automakers to catch up. Again, Tesla shares halted as we wait for Tesla to officially announce what we believe will be a lower cost, $35,000 base price for the Model 3. Keith, you know, why did it take these, these two years to get here? You know, it's typical of automakers, and I know Tesla is not a typical automaker, but usually you start with the higher price models because that, that gives you the biggest profits. It gives you the payback. And then you move down the price ladder and start putting out the lower price models and go for the volume. So you need to get a critical mass going with those high price ones. He's achieved that, but now he has these very ambitious production targets. And in order to sell all those cars he plans to produce, he really needs to have a lower price model. Now, Gene, how many more cars do you think Tesla will be able to sell at this price? How does this change your model? Well, uh, it will. Right now, we were a little bit conservative relative to their 400,000 expectations. We're at 300, so we we probably need to go and rethink where, what our estimate will be for this year and for next year. But the simple takeaway is this: is if you look at the broader market, there's 80 million vehicles sold a year. Last year, globally, is one percent of those were electric. In the future, there's no question that 100 uh, percent of vehicles. Now, that might be two years from uh, 10 years from now, or, or or 30 years from now. But that's uh, ultimately where we're going. And so I think how many can they sell? What does it mean for the model is this can be a significantly bigger company because of the $35,000 price. Meantime, Keith, earlier this week, we covered the news that the SEC has asked a judge to hold Musk in contempt for his tweets around those production numbers with which Gene was mentioning. Is it 500,000 or 400,000? And did he tweet too soon? Do you think some of these legal issues could impede Tesla's progress this year? Well, they could impede Elon's progress, that's for sure. Uh, you know, he once again, as we know, put out a tweet that said they were uh, at a 500,000 rate on the Model 3 when, in fact, they're going to produce 400,000 this year, and he had to correct that. So he continues to tweet unfettered, and that's the issue the SEC has. Gene, you had some choice words about uh, Musk's latest tweets. You said that he has been reckless. How concerned are you that these issues will continue to affect his leadership and, and possibly then the company. Uh, concerned, and I want to make it clear that uh, I'm a believer in the Tesla story and believe in Elon Musk and, and think that he is uh, still better that he is part of the company. But nonetheless, I was at one point uh, six, nine months ago hopeful that he could change. And unfortunately, he's not going to change. He's going to continue to do some reckless things on the edges. And I, I just hope that uh, at least this recklessness doesn't actually impact the business because the company does have a wonderful mission, and I think they're in a great place to change the world. Now, we're continuing to get headlines now out of this official Tesla news conference. Tesla saying it's shifting worldwide sales to online only. 
says the Model 3 will have 220 mile range, top speeds, 130 miles per hour. Gene, what does that mean? It means that it's a great car. And I think that uh, other uh, electric cars that are even kind of in this uh, $40,000, $45,000 range, they're not cars that you would want. And I think that's the big takeaway here. This is an electric car that you'd actually want. And we're not even talking about some of the tech inside. That's just some of the, the specs around the performance of the car. So I think when you, when you compare at this price point, it will be 80% plus market share and uh, 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 probably close to 100% market share. It's just, um, and, and I think that the car companies, the industry, is going to go through an incredible uh, turbulence in the next few years because to try to build something comparable that they can do at scale and make money on is a calculus problem that I don't think they're capable of solving. Keith, Tesla doesn't do much traditionally, as you've said. Is there any other automaker that has online-only sales? No, uh, the automakers use the traditional dealer network. Elon has been, you know, very explicit in how he wants to sell direct to consumers, uh, which has gotten him in, you know, sort of trouble with uh, state regulators who are very tight with traditional dealers. So he's he's finding a model that that works for Tesla. And an important thing about this car, uh, you know, it won't have quite the range of the more expensive models, but it will bring in new customers to Tesla that will be the seed corn for this brand. This will give them a future beyond just the very wealthy people who've been able to afford Teslas before this. I still remember uh, being at Tesla the day the Model 3 was unveiled, taking a test drive in, in one of those early models, Gene. How, what does this cost? Let's talk about what the cost means in terms of Tesla making money. They can get the car down to this price, but how will that impact Tesla's bottom line? What they've said versus what it's going to look like initially are two different things. And I, I think the answer is that these initial units will likely not be profitable. I can't imagine them making money on them for the next several months. But they do have ambitions. And they talked about in the December quarter that gross margins should be 20 percent-ish on the, the Model 3. And so uh, now that was with an average selling price of just over $50,000. So as you kind of scale that back to 35, uh, I think that the, the math is there. And I mentioned that earlier. I think that that's the real substance here is that they're able to produce a car at, uh, I think the average price is going to end up being close to 40000 at the end of the day, but still at a much lower price and be profitable. And as long as they can keep it to really five percent or better uh, margins on that I think investors would be thrilled because of this size of this growth curve is, uh, is is one of the biggest ways coming in tech now getting more detail from this Tesla news conference not only are sales shifting to online only but Tesla says that all the sales going online combined with other ongoing cost efficiencies will enable them to lower the cost of all cars by about six percent on average allowing them to get to that $35,000 Model 3 price point. Keith, what does this all add up to? Well, I think what it means is Tesla sees some competition coming from the German luxury car makers. Others are trying to replicate the Tesla formula, and they're trying to get out ahead of that. They are trying to build a critical mass so they can continue to control the lion's share of the pure electric market.